All right, guys, we introduced to you the 30th vehicle that we have given away in our fleet. We wanted to do it big and we wanted to do it right. So we're giving somebody this 2020 Ram 2500, which has been our company vehicle for the past year or so, and we absolutely love it. We've had a lot of trucks, and this is by far our favorite one. It's got the mega cab, so you can fit the whole crew in it. It's got a four and a half inch BDS lift, 20 inch wheels, 37 inch tires. It looks amazing, it rides amazing, and it's going to one of you guys who buys anything off the website. So cboystv.com for the next six weeks, you have the chance to get entered to win this thing. So every $5 you spend gets you one entry and uh, somebody's going home with it. So you can buy any merch on the website. We've got Seaboys merch, Life Wide Open merch, meme shirts. And then we actually even have a shirt that just says, I bought this shirt to get entered for a truck giveaway if you really don't want to rep any of our brand. So head on over, cboystv.com, pick yourself up some gear. You might win a truck in the process. Oh, and $10,000 cash. So thank you guys, thanks for supporting. And now into the video. We're gonna be turning our mini truck into a monster truck today. <laughs> so we've got these 63 by 23 inch tires that came off of our friend Colin Sherp, what they call the ultimate off-road machine. Well, these mini trucks have uh, proven a lot. We've taken them off-road, we have front flipped one, we Hayabusa swapped one, so we feel like it only makes sense to uh, monster truck one next. So it's not gonna be a full-size monster truck, you know, it's gonna be a, a mini monster truck with a mini truck. But we should be able to run over trees, run over cars, maybe even float it, and uh, <laughs> it's gonna look really cool in the process. nice thing about having an illegal wheel setup on this truck is that it's a classic, so I think we could actually drive it around legally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. That yeah. is actually how it works. If it's older than like 25 years or something like that, you can't get pulled over for it. It can be wider than the road and you're <laughs> just fine. Be the road. It'll be perfectly like a normal pickup, just taller and have the wheels on the outside. Let us know how that goes when we're bailing you out of jail. Dude, the only thing that I gotta say is like, what the frick happened to this thing? Like, I got used to looking at this, like this thing is just beautiful. We pulled this thing in this morning, I was like, what the hell happened to this? It's kind of just how we bought it. This is not how we bought it. Yeah. We, we've done a lot with these things, dude. This is dude. how we bought it, dude. This thing was mint when we got it. This was daily driven for 20 years by a 75-year-old Japanese man who took pride and joy in taking care of it. So it, it was honestly kind of a shame it went to us. Now this is the last stock mini truck that we have, which is actually really convenient because it's the only one that is all wheel drive and has like four wheel low. So it should be able to turn the wheels. We're not 100% positive because these wheels weigh like 200 pounds each, but these mini trucks haven't let us down before, so they shouldn't now. They have like as much weight in wheels and tires as the whole mini truck weighs by itself. <laughs> yeah. yeah, actually, pretty much. <laughs> you guys might be wondering, what's going on with these uh, rusty spacers that are already on it? Well, our friend put these Sherp tires on his truck already, and he built these adapters. So we went ahead and we made an adapter that goes from the four lug which is the mini truck, to the eight lug, which goes onto these spacers right here. So, just like that. Now, we should be able to just basically bolt these adapters onto this, and then the wheels should bolt right up. Hope it goes that good. <laughs> <laughs> In theory, that's all we gotta do. Rather simple compared to the most of the things that has been going on around here lately. This is very true. Out with the 14 inch wheel. With the 63 inch. Very disturbing that it's an eight lug going to a four lug. The four lug is probably gonna be the breaking point. I guess we'll see. There's a, there's a lot of breaking points actually, so we'll see what gives first. Bro, this is ridiculous. This is way wider than I was expecting. Dude, this is so wide, it's like 10 feet wide. Like a <laughs> Yes, dude! <laughs> it's working! That's a beautiful thing. Of all the things I've seen in our driveway, my brain is having trouble comprehending. Dude, this, one. this is ridiculous. Like this reminds me of like a mobile game where you have a truck and then you can just put the biggest tires you could possibly put on it. It's so quiet. That's the crazy thing about the mini trucks, is they are so quiet, so that all you hear is just the tires. Look 
Insane. It's actually working. The one thing I am worried about is the clutch because it's it's like it takes a lot to get moving these things. Oh, well, we should have got the gear swap for the 63 inch tires. <laughs> <laughs> So quiet. All right, it feels pretty wobbly. By the looks of what I can see in the mirror, it's pretty wobbly. He didn't look very impressed. <laughs> well, we're not moving the fastest, but it is a pretty comfy ride. Well, passed the road test. I think the next test would be off-road and then probably on water, huh? I would say so. This is a time where we actually find out how our budget shirt compares up against a real shirt. <laughs> it looks like you got your shirt at Walmart. Looks like the Wish version. You bought it online thinking that it was better in pictures. We're at our friend Collins. He's a shirt dealer. He's got these things laying all over the place. And uh, he's got this shirt track here to basically show what they're capable of. So we figured we would bring ours and see if it's capable of doing literally any of it. The goal is to keep this thing in one piece so we can see if it floats in the pond afterwards. So all the lake is frozen except for they have an aerated pond. So we're gonna see how, uh, how amphibious she really is. I think it's gonna sink. Yeah, Even no with lie. these big tires on it? Yeah. Also, Ev didn't want to miss out on the fun, so he's just driving the stock mini truck right now. Something tells me he's gonna get every place, if not more, just in that thing. You gonna be okay in here today? I think so, why not? <laughs> okay, yeah, I don't know, why, why wouldn't you be? I feel right at home in this little bit. <laughs> Good. This mini truck has been through a lot, but today might be the day that it finally dies. Yeah, it's never had Evan driving it. Uh, it it'll be fine. <laughs> What is this guy doing? I think since Evan's truck is literally tiny, he's trying to prove himself in different ways. I tell you it was too late as soon as I saw it. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, not good. This tie rod is a taco. Might have had something to do with that tree I just ran into. I think we can straighten that tie rod out though and at least get enough to drive it into the pond. Once again, old faithful beats the competition. It really is hard to beat stock, man. Those things are the best. Well, kids, I think this answers the question on whether you should be running spacers on your truck or not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to the shop. <laughs> All right, the mini truck's fixed. Next stop, the pond. These guys don't have much faith in it, which is making me nervous. It's making me nervous too. They handed me this life jacket. We weren't planning on needing one of those. I didn't think that was gonna be a concern. Ooh. <laughs> nice. All right, that's what it's supposed to look like. Well, what do you think? Just carry momentum? You signed the waiver. Oh man, he just goes, you signed the waiver. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, dude. Yeah! <laughs> Let's go! Go, 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 go. Come on, baby! All right, we're going in reverse. We're backing up. <laughs> Dude, I'm giving her all she's got. 
Go, 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 go. Oh, oh. Dude, it's just all she's got. I'm to the floor, like trying to feather it and keep it alive. If it had more power, it could totally make it back up, which is the hardest part for Sherps or anything. Yeah, right, you need a couple more horses. that we need to do some mini truck upgrades and then uh, revisit this in the summer. We're gonna hit the lake with this and Ryan's pontoon Hummer. <laughs> yeah. Well, big thanks to uh, our friends over at Sherp USA for letting us come and uh, use their playground and uh, Colin at Up North Outdoors YouTube channel for always uh, coming through for the boys. Yeah, that's what we were thinking. We told you to gently hit your neighbor's garbage cans, <laughs> not I completely destroy them. I gently tapped it at 50. <laughs> All right, and we're back at uh, Ken's new house. If you guys saw a couple videos ago, Ken bought this property under foreclosure from the state for extremely cheap. He hadn't seen it yet. He was extremely excited about it, wanted to show us. We went over and Ken was devastatingly disappointed. He hates his new house. <laughs> Basically, Ken took one look inside, got all pissed off and started destroying everything. So now we're here and Ken's gonna tear down his house because he doesn't wanna wait an extra month just to have an actual crew come do it. I do want to save one thing out of here. Look at this charger. This is nicer than any battery jumpers we got at the shop. We're gonna have a mica 2.0 here with Evan. All right, You're this is the only thing I care car? about saving. This thing is mint. There's no key in it, Ken. What? There's no key in it. Is this all you're saving? Yeah, yeah, this is the only thing I'm saving. Oh, it's That's all locked fucking... up, Ken. Oh my god. It's not the wheels are not moving at all. Yeah, just pull it out of your truck and then we're good. Alright, so this is Ken's new truck that he bought specifically just to tear his house down. <laughs> I didn't know that you could do demolition with a snow plow, but I guess it makes sense. Well, we don't know either yet. We're gonna find out. <laughs> like, this is a nice ass truck. Whoever had this before, per usual, whenever we get anything, they took really good care of it and it somehow yeah. ended up in our you can, you can tell it's been stolen at least once. Is that why you got it for a good deal? Yeah. Nice. Steering columns are in two pieces, so. Hmm. Okay. I just think it's funny that you hate your new house so much. It's a shithole. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you think? You thought it was gonna be like the fucking Taj Mahal or well, what? No, I, I knew I was buying a lot. There just happens to be a <laughs> shitty house on it. Ken hates his new house, man. Mike's taking a final run through. He's already pulled like four or five things out of here. Finding some good stuff. Like yeah, a few is, things I mentioned last time. This is your final chance. Anything you want is yours. Otherwise, it's gonna be gone. All right, I'll take you up on that. There's some cans on the wall. You might be able to get like a couple bucks for those. <laughs> I'm wheeling this thing out of here. Oh, look who it is. Are we going in one side and out the other, it looks like? Yeah, I think he's planning on landing in the lake. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting out of the way, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Need this. I'm pretty sure that's for children. I really don't care. It was last registered in 1990. Take this, pick the Where are you guys planning on putting all this shit? This one's gonna go on the moto track so when I need to drink teas while riding my dirt bike, I have a spot to sit. These worth money? Not anymore. Saving the garbage cans now, Mike. We're gonna replace Ken's neighbor's garbage cans with those ones. <laughs> they come home, they're like, what? Why is there different garbage cans at our house now? This Man. is so weird. I told you multiple times, this is your last chance. You don't have to destroy this. This isn't a bad house. Well, it's either I destroy it or I gotta pay somebody to destroy it. So. No, I'm saying you could just live in it. You could fix it up a little bit as you live in it. You don't want to? No. <laughs> All right. I think you took the mattress with, that's why it absorbed the impact. No, that hurt really bad. <laughs> oh my God. The straight up hole in the ground. <laughs> Your neighbors are going to be so confused when they come home from work today. Hopefully it gets real windy, blows all 
They shit through the neighborhood. <laughs> Dude, they gotta hate you right here. <laughs> Damn, I can't believe how much stuff you brought outside with you. That was so funny. That was proper. Ken's neighbors. <laughs> Bro. I <laughs> 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 fucking breaking his neck, bro. <laughs> yeah. What are you going to do with the place? Oh, uh, well, I thought I was in, in reverse, but I actually had it in drive and just blew right through yeah, it. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't believe that. You guys are the neighbors? We live right down there. I'm so sorry. Yeah, if you could slow down a little bit, that'd be great. Yeah. Well, I don't live no. here. You gotta tell this guy. Yeah, you're the sole owner? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Ken, I think you should take one more run at it, aim for that corner. I think you might end up in the living room. You are more than welcome to try right if you want. That was kid. solid. I don't want to do that again. That hurt. Just ghost ride the thing. Now you got a great runway mm. right through. <laughs> so we got this one on the brake for now. I'll pin this one in here. And then pull the one off the brake and it should go flawlessly. Look like inside. Oh. Man, this place is a mess. <laughs> oh my! Whoa! Dude, it probably would have kept going if it wasn't for this bridge, dude. Oh shit! Yeah, I think that if we get the the fridge out of there. Oh my god. <laughs> Neighbors are home. Jesus Christ. Just a little bit of demo. <laughs> the goal is to get the entire truck into Ken's living room, so we're not gonna quit until we accomplish that. Oh, oh he's riding in it. No more ghost rides. was violent. Ev never turns on a good opportunity to one, break some stuff, and two, drive a Chev. Two favorite things. They just never happen at the same time. Chevs never break. Everyone's nervous about me moving into the neighborhood. They're asking questions. What's your plan? What are you gonna Bro, do? I don't know if they're nervous anymore. Like You've definitely confirmed everything they <laughs> yeah. were expecting. Yeah. Keep up the work, dude. I'm gonna try and buy your neighbor's house here pretty soon in six months when they want to sell. <laughs> well, you just gotta drive down the property values first. Under them over here. You're in the corner though. Put a brick on it. Then do it. I don't want to put a brick on it. You do it. What? Well, I mean, I would ram it. Ben's mad about it. I'm not mad, I just care about you. He just don't want you getting hurt. That's a great logic. You have a friend who's genuinely concerned, he's like, he's mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> he won't let me do it. <laughs> oh! Alright boys, can you just lock up before we leave? I gotta go. Yeah, Ken's gotta catch a flight, so he actually has to leave. You mind if we just keep doing this for a little bit more? Just hang hey. out? Keep going as much as you want. Ken's going to Vegas by himself. A little suspicious, yeah, but all right. A little suspicious. <laughs> I don't know what's more weird, the fact that Ken's going to Vegas by himself or that we're here driving a truck through his house while he's not here. I think everything's pretty fucked up nowadays <laughs> yeah. for us. <laughs> See, you. See you, Ken. Bye, Ken. Enjoy Vegas. Have fun. Make sure you lock up. Oh my gosh, that thing is cocked. Well, she's got one last run in her? I'd say so. This is the one that's going through his neighbor's house. Yeah. <laughs> Just make it that neighbor's house. All right. <laughs> Dude, he's going to have a brick wall put up next time we come here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh my god! That almost went to the neighbors! That was just about really bad and I 
I think that was the end of this run. Wow. Oh! oh. <laughs> Dude, it's still going! Dude, it's gonna take a lot more than a house to take Here goes down. Oh my gosh, man. This is incredible. He's going home to break the news to his wife. I am a little bummed that it took the uh, plow truck out, but I guess you're gonna have that when you try driving a plow truck through a house four times. Well, we'll uh, keep you guys posted on Ken's house updates uh, as they continue to happen. I'm a little bit bummed that he's planning on demoing this thing. I don't know how much more we have to do with it after it's completely gone, but I'm sure we'll come up with something. Ken builds like a nice new house, and we're like, man, Ken, your house sucks. Dude, this house sucks, dude. I have to take off your shoes. I used to be able to just drive my truck inside. <laughs>